Hi, this is Andy Nathan, and this is Social Networking 101 Week. And as we discussed, today we are actually going to be talking about Twitter. Here we go. So this is my main Twitter account for Andy Nathan. It's Twitter, it's at Andy Nathan. So for those of you looking to learn the Twitter 101 basics, here we go. What we're going to do, first of all, I'm going to log out so you can see how to get set up with an account. Okay, so I logged out of Twitter, and obviously, as you can see here, you have my main sign-in information here. If I want to create a new account, I'm going to have to put in some new information. So let's say I want to have a different account, and I'm um, just thinking, so let's say I want to have an internet marketing account. I do a lot of internet marketing these days, so I think it would be a good thing to have. So I'm going to put in my name, Andy. And then I'm going to put in an email address. And generally, you're going to need some type of email address here. So I'm just thinking, let's see if this is one that I have not used. This is not a. This is an email address that I have, but I do not use often. So do not attempt to use it because I will not be responding to this. So I'm going to click sign up. Let's see how this works. If it works, email is already registered. Okay. Here, let's try this one. This is another one that I do not use. And I actually have that for other purposes. So here, here we go. Andy Nathan is already taken, obviously, because I sort of took my own name. What I want is internet marketing. And I know I'm sure internet marketing is already taken. What I'm going to do, you could see here, as I'm playing around with the names, you could see what usernames are taken. I might do, I am correctly. Let's see if that's taken. No, it's not. Internet marketing correctly. I am correctly. I'm correctly. I like that. That's kind of catchy. I just thought of that as we were talking, just for a little disclosure here. It's not like I had this genius plan of creating this ahead of time. So I'm going to do create account. And when I create the account, here we go. I am correctly. And all of a sudden, we have this great account. I go in, they give me some suggestions. Generally, you're going to, unless you're really a Starstruck fan, you're probably going to ignore most of these people. However, they do have me in here. They're probably tracking my IP address, which is probably why. So, because I didn't actually hide the IP address here. But with this being said, I now follow a few people here. I'm um, just going through. And there we go. Just saw another one here somewhere. There we go. Smart at the start, which is my other company. And there we go. So next, I want to see, I want to determine what interest. Do I want to follow someone by business? And I'm going to just click follow back. Let's see who we have. <laughs> So you guys actually get to see how it works because I want to find someone who's ideal. And what I'm looking for, for those who are wondering what I've been going back and forth for, they should have about equal following and follower numbers, just so you know. Because if they don't, that means that they really don't care about what you say, which basically means that you're not really worthwhile to them, which is why I really don't like that. Uh... Wow, that's interesting. Even all follow back doesn't follow back. And what you're starting to see, obviously, is a trend to not follow people back. The blue verifieds generally will not follow people back because they're too big for you, which is why I'm avoiding a lot of them. Tell you what, this is close enough. Adam Nance. It's not a huge difference here. Um, he has following 139 people, 329 followers are people are following him. Not ideal, but you know what? I don't want to spend the next 10 years showing you how the, what this looks like when in reality I could just open up my Andy Nathan account and you could get an idea here of what it should be because here, similar to Andy Nathan, let's just Glenn Murray is a great example here. So let's open up his account. And here you go. See how he's, his numbers are, it's not exact, but he's pretty close here. So there you go. You have an idea of what's going on with him. 
Okay, so now you have that. Now we're going to go up to settings here. I want to show you how to set up the profile. Okay, so you have your username. You could change that if you want. I have to I have to confirm my my email, which I'll do later on. And then I have central time zone, which I'm at, which I'm located. I could also go through some of the different uh, options here, but the real thing I want to show you is the profile. So one, I want to have a picture, and I don't really have a picture for this. So we're gonna see what we could find. So let's see, what do we want to put in here? Firefield sunset. Let's just see if that works. And we're gonna put that in. And location, I'm gonna put in Chicago. I could skip that because I'm sort of a local account, but I'm gonna put that in. And then I'm gonna put in added one, which is another website of mine for the web domain. In addition for the bio, I'm gonna put in here looking to show you how to use internet marketing correctly and now you have that I could post my tweets to Facebook I'm not going to do that because I have other accounts that go to Facebook and I'm going to click save and there you go let's see if the picture how the picture does because the picture might have been a little too big but we'll find out it's loading, loading, loading. Oh, there it goes. And there you go. I have a picture, a fire, sun picture. So now we're, next thing we're going to do is the design. And we could actually design our background. Now I could do a custom background if I want. Or if I want to see if I have a background image that's pretty basic, I could check on that also. So if I have a basic background image, I might want to include that in there. Let's see what the domino chain is. And I don't really know what this is, so we're going to just test this out and play around with it and like I said this is sort of this is all just a bit of testing out and playing around with so obviously it doesn't fit the entire place here so we actually I, I put tile which d puts it all over the page so if you don't have if the picture isn't big enough it just tiles it out and then what I'll do next is I'm going to go back to my profile page and you could see more about who I'm following and I'm gonna do my first tweet so in order to do my first tweet I'm gonna click home I'm gonna say thanks for coming to I am correctly looking forward to learning and teaching with you on internet marketing and there we go and this is Andy Nathan from andynathan.net we have a new Twitter account yeah